everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Optify in Minecraft 1.14.3. Optify 1.14.3 is officially out. It's no longer in a preview version. It is out and ready for the world to enjoy with uh, no bugs or less bugs and all sorts of other awesome stuff. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS break in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you are looking for an amazing 24-hour Minecraft server for you, your friends, or anyone else you want to play on your server, go check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's just go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing you want to do to download Optifine is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you to this web page here. This is actually our in-depth guide on how to install Optifine. And if I go a little too fast in this video, you can go through this tutorial manually. However, what you want to do is click on the download Optifine, green download Optifine button here. And when you do that, it will take you off to Optifine's official download page, where up here at the top, we can see Minecraft 1.14.3. Come down here to basically the list of the version. As you can see, there's the download and all that stuff. And next to this version here, and make sure you always download the one that's at the top. So if this is 1.13, we download the one at the top. So for this one, we're downloading the only one there, but the highest one on the list. And that is going to be clicking the mirror button. Now, if you click the mirror button, it will automatically take you to the download page. If you don't, it will take you off to AdFly. And that's why we always click the mirror button there instead of the download button. Nevertheless, once you've clicked the mirror button, it will take you off to this page where you can click the download Optifine 114.3 link right here. So just be this blue text, click on that, and it will go ahead and download Optifine in the bottom left. It will also probably pull a pop-up up like this, but that's fine because the Optifine download is started in the bottom left. Now, we do need to save this file, and as long as it starts with Optifine, Define and ends in .jar, which ours does. We're good to keep this file on Google Chrome. Mozilla Firefox has popped it up in the center of the screen. And again, as long as it starts with Optifine and ends in .jar, you're going to go ahead and save that file. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser here. And on our desktop, we have Optifine 1.14.3. If this isn't on your desktop, go ahead and click on the little Windows icon in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left. Type in Downloads, right like so, and then you'll have this Downloads folder here. Go ahead and click on that Downloads folder, and in here you'll find the Optifine you downloaded to drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. Now once it's on your desktop, you should be able to right click on it, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SC Binary. Now if you can't, or you do, and it doesn't work, no problem, we have a solution for you. Just go to the description of this video, and you'll have this link. This is how to download and install the Java SE Development Kit, which is really just downloading Java. It goes through everything you need to know here to get Java on your computer so you can not only run a Minecraft mod like Optifine, but Forge, run a Minecraft server, all of it requires Java, so go through this tutorial. Now if you do that and it still doesn't work, no worries, we have the jar fix, which this is a very simple and very easy to use program where you just download it, run it, and it fixes all the jar files on your computer and basically reconnects them to Java. So nevertheless, download that if Java doesn't work. But now, once you've done that, you should finally be able to right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. You'll then get this Optifine installer here where you can just click on the Install button. It will then go ahead and download and install Optifine. You can see Optifine is successfully installed. Now, if you do have an issue with that, you need to go play Minecraft 1.14.3 with no mods, no forge, no anything, just Minecraft 1.14.3 vanilla and then you'll be good to go. Now we can go ahead and click OK and it'll close out of the Optifine launcher. At this point it's very very easy. Just open up the Minecraft launcher here and we'll have the brand new Minecraft launcher as you can see updated with 1.14.3 and then we should be able to click this little like basically where it says your version down here in the bottom left right next to the play button or to the left of the play button. You should be able to click on that and you should have Optifine. As you can see we do Optifine 1.14.3 Optifine and that is going to be the 1.14.3 version. You can click on that and click play. Now if you don't have that, right, you don't have that version there, click on installations up here at the top and then once you're here go ahead and click on add new. See this plus button, this new button there? You can name this installation whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is the IP address of the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. That is actually our own Minecraft server and we've got awesome custom survival with grief protection with over 20 quests. Awesome stuff there. We've got two survival servers, one with the player economy, one with the server economy. And then on top of that, we have custom Skyblock with over 100 players on our Skyblock server every single day and new servers coming every single month. But nevertheless, come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com. Com. Nearly 300 players online every single day. But nevertheless, now, once you've named your version, come over here to where it says version, right? And then there's this drop down box. Click on that drop down box, and in here you'll have release 1.14.3 Optifine. See, right there it is. 
click on that, and then click Create. Now at this point, we can come back over to Play, click on the little drop-down box over here, select the version we created, in our case, play.breakdowncraft.com, and click Play. I'm actually going to launch the original Optifine one, though, because you'll be able to see that they both work, right? That's kind of what I'm wanting to do there. So now we're launching up Minecraft with Optifine installed. It's that easy. It's a very, very simple process these days to install Optifine, and the new Minecraft launcher works very, very well with Optifine. I didn't change our resolution. So it's it's a bit it's a bit small there. G give me one second. Let me let me let me let me change our resolution. That'll be very difficult for you all to see. If you want to change your resolution, just click on installations, go to whatever installation you want, and then just change it to uh, yeah, like 1920 by 1080. And that's where you can change your resolution to where now we can come down here, select the play.breakdowncraft.com profile, click play, and now it'll open up Minecraft 1.14.3 with Optivine installed, and you'll be able to see it because it's 1080p, which is kind of important. I mean, it is a video after all. You want to be able to see what's going on here. So as you can see, this is Minecraft 1.14.3, and once we're on the main menu, I will go into video settings and show you that there are shaders, packs, and all that stuff. So here we are. We can click on options video settings and their shaders, all of the other Minecraft settings, animations, details, performance, quality, it is all here. And now you can run it in 1.14.3. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Also, be sure to come play this on play.breakdowncraft.com. We have full Minecraft 1.14 dot three support look at that in our medieval survival server launched just the last week so come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com and join the currently 232 players that are online again my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i'm out peace